That is one big pile of castings. Hi everyone, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Have you noticed little mud balls sitting on your lawn recently? These mud balls can be quite an eyesore, particularly if you like your lawn cut nice and short. We receive a lot of inquiries about these, but this is one thing we actually encourage you not to treat, as these are earthworm castings. In this video, we'll tell you a bit about why these happen and what you can possibly do about them. The main reason you tend to know worms are in your soil is when they come to the surface. This is normally during spring or autumn or times of increased moisture, the worms will come to the surface and leave castings. These are also known as mud balls. Castings are small mounds of worm excrement. That is one big pile of shit. Which is beneficial for your lawn. The only issue here is the appearance of these castings on top of your lawn, particularly if there are heaps of them. But with changing conditions and a bit of patience, these castings will stop appearing and your lawn will reap the benefits that earthworms provide. These pleasant creatures are brilliant for your lawn's health and they are busily working away beneath the surface. If earthworms are present in your lawn, it generally means you have a healthy soil with a good amount of organic material, so you don't really have anything to worry about. These mounds can be a bit of a nuisance to deal with, but they are a sure sign of success. If anything, you should be worried if these mounds aren't in your lawn because it may be lacking nutrients and a good amount of organic matter. As worm activity is a sign of higher moisture levels, if you can limit the amount of moisture your lawn is receiving, the worms will dive deeper into the soil in search of moisture and the castings will become less apparent. If there is no break in rainfall, instead of waiting weeks for the castings to dry out, you can simply pick them up or give them a very quick blast with a hose to help wash the castings in. We only recommend doing this when conditions are particularly bad and the additional water is minimal compared to the rainfall received. When the castings are dry, you can rake or brush them across the lawn. Much like an organic fertiliser, this will then settle the castings into the roots and provide nutrition to your lawn. You can also mow your lawn on a higher setting to lessen the appearance of castings as well. Earthworms can rise to the surface to look for additional food sources like lawn clippings and leaves. By raking up leaves and mowing with the catcher, you will reduce their food sources above the surface, letting them go back beneath the soil to look for food. So next time you see these little mounds on your lawn, try not to cringe. Give yourself a pat on the back and reduce their appearance as best you can, all the while enjoying the benefits that they provide. These mounds will disappear as conditions ease. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we hope to catch you next time.